Hello, let's discuss about guidance on how do we plot operating characteristics of overcurrent relay using Excel spreadsheet. Of course, there are different options uh, plotting, you know, um, the characteristics of relay. For example, we can use a software based such as Omicron test inverse or, you know, depend on different relay uh, software uh, such as, um, you know, Dixon, Park Factory, ETA, uh, and so on. But the simplest and cheapest way is Excel spreadsheet. So let's explore how we could do this way. From IEC 60355 tipping characteristics, we have this kind of um, you know, characteristics provided. Okay. As you can see, we have standard inverse inverse and extreme inverse. So this is the current multiple of setting current against the operating time of relay. Okay, as you can see. Um, this is the standard curve, which is speed slower when both currents are high and force on here. The extreme inverse is a bit faster trip time when the fault is high, but slower when, um, you know, at low fault. Okay. And then as you can see on here, we have different kind of curves, which are based on uh, IDM3 day North American. So this is more European. IEC and the uh, the North American standard is similar to this one, but it just we have to have a different formulas or calculations. For instance, this is more about the relay characteristics used in Europe, and then this is in America, which is we can use for this one. For this one, we have these for this graph. Okay, and the meaning on here are. For example, IR minus current divided by setting current. Okay, that means the um, pickup or setting current. IR is the ratio of the set, uh, the current or the input current divided by the setting current. And then of course, I minus uh, measured current given the fault, and this is the relay really setting current. And then of course, TMS is time multiple, multiplier setting, and TD is time dial. Which TD is used in more in, in American standard and um, TMS is more used in, in the European standard. Okay, we can see this in you know in clearly in network protection and automation guidance book, which is Anstam uh, protection relays book. So let's see the example on here for instance. Um, how do we practice on Excel? Okay, how do we plot the graphs in the Excel spreadsheet? So, for example, we have a relay, and then we have a black setting multiplier. This one, we can just you know plug in this one. We can we have the current setting on here. For instance, current is one 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 point two one point five two two point five three etc. So the range of this current depends on the relay type in amp. Basically, this is in, in amp on here. Uh, this is the type of the relay CVG. Okay. On here we have TMS. Okay. The TMS is from zero to one. That is time multiply setting. Okay. And then this is the rotating disk basically. So when there is a fault, this has to rotate and it has to provide the three plate on this setting, the setting, time setting, and you know, current setting. So how do we do you, for instance, if we have a PSN plug setting up by 150%, say for example, on here, this is 1 minus 100%, and 1.2 minus 120%, and 1.5 minus 150%. Say for example, our setting is on here, okay, 1.5 or 150. And the nominal current is 5 amp. So the relay can, you know, have a capability of 5 amp to translate from primary into secondary. Current okay, then the setting current would be five times or uh, PSM times nominal current, which means 1.5 times 5 is 7.5. Okay, okay, so five times 150 is 7.5. Okay. Now, assume we can have a fault current range, current basically between 10 to 20. So how the next question is, 
but how do we plot? How do we plot this? For example, this is the current, and this is the trip time of the relay. So how do we plot this one in Excel spreadsheet? How can we plot this based on this one? Say, for example, this is minimum is 10 up to 20, okay, the fourth current. So how do we apply the fourth current into the relay? Let's have a look in the exact spreadsheet. We should expect something the we can expect something like this, but for a different um, curve type. For example, for a standard inverse, we should expect this way and extreme inverse was this that way and very inverse this way. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet. Okay, so as, as you can see, we have this one and uh, exercise. So plus the multiplier 155 and um, nominal current. So the setting current is 1.5 and then the put current is 10 to 20. So if we look at the standard curve, for example, this is the standard curve. So now we have standard curve on here. K is 0 0.14, so K is 0 0.14 on here. A is you know, 0 0.02. We know the input current is 10, the minimum, and the maximum is 20. Okay, so let's say this. Let's just this one. 20, okay. Okay. So this is 10 up to 20 time, or 20, okay. Now what we could try uh, to calculate is trip time of the relay. So the trip time of relay is calculated, for example, based on the setting card. We have the setting card, this one is 1 1.5. So basically this, this formula. So the input current is 10, as you can see P40 is 10, divided by the setting current is 7.5 minus one times A is 0 0.02, minus one, which times a TMS of 0 0.5 on here. The TMS is this one, time setting on here. Okay, so if we do that way, then the, when the fourth current is not 10, so, so, for example, now we have 5, 10. So the fault current is at 10, then the trick time will be 12.13 seconds. So something, for example, on here, if you see at 10, it's 12.13, as you can see. Okay. So this is for the standard inverse. And then at 20, for example, this varies like this. And then say, for example, at 15, it is 5. Okay, so at 15, what can I find? That's... 10, that's 15. So at 15 in here, if you can put my cursor here, at 15, it's 5.01. That is the same. And then at 20, it's 3.53. So at, if I plot on 20, it's 3.53, which is this one. Okay, similarly, we can have for very much. Let's have a look at this one. So we just have to plot the formula. So very much at 10, when, so we just have to run the formula. So for example, on here at very much, my k is 30.5. And then of course A is 0 0.02, no, one, sorry, one on here. And then of course the MC is still constant uh, fixed on here. We just I see this 0.5. Okay. And then the similar layer, we can see the plot this one on here basically, on that one. Okay. And then extremely inverse is this one. Again, and then I think we haven't plot for the long inverse. Okay, but we could do if we want it. And long inverse. Okay. So now we can do this way. And then that we could do this way as well. Then one. Yeah, so now you can see. That one is also plot, which is very similar to the uh, extreme inverse, but then at low, they are different at low current. So, for example, at low current at 10, this is 51, but that, that one is 77. So, for example, at 10, 
they look on something similar to seven point one four. But they, this one, the external inversion at ten is fifty one point four per second. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if we had to increase this one from ten to say hundred, well, then you just unhide this one. Then the drawing would be like this. It would look like that. Like yes, one, two. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So, for example, when the fault current varies from 10 to 100, okay, minimum and maximum, so minimum is, say, 10 and maximum is 100, then it will be like this as well. Yeah. So, as you can see, when the fault current is high, which means at 100, then the extremely inverse, which is the red color, would provide a faster trip. So, for example, it would trip somewhere closer to 0 0.23 seconds. But at the same current, with the same current, the very inverse would trip 0 0.55 seconds. And then the standard inverse, obviously, would trip at a delay time 1.33 seconds. Okay, something 1 point, yeah, 1.32, yes. Yeah, OK, then we can play like this for a different setting. We can change the value of TMS, for example. We can change it to 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 from 0 0.1 up to 0 0.1 maximum. So for example, if we look on this one, we have different uh, setting of TMS, as you can see, from 1 to 0 0.1. And then you can see with the same fault current, okay? Then we could see the three times different. So for example, for relay one, when we have TMS of 0 0.1, then um, we have a faster trip time, 0 0.33. Okay, but when we have TMS of one, we could have 3.1 second. Yeah, so the main difference between varying TMS is just for the trick time of the relay, we can increase or decrease by adjusting the TMS part. Okay, All right. So thank you for listening. I think. This will help you to practice on your plotting with the Excel spreadsheet. All right, thank you.